All right, Sunday, November 15th. We are going to do another superset. Um, the first movement's gonna be barbell curls, three by 10, so just with an empty barbell, and then ring push-ups, also three by 10, okay? Um, so for the barbell curls, what we're looking for, and you can even stand against the wall if this helps, but you wanna isolate the everything from your shoulder to your elbow, so that remains at your side. Okay, you want to try and keep your elbow down, okay, and shoulder in place, and not let your elbow track out in front of the the like your your midline, your stomach. Okay, um, so you want to basically extend your arm all the way down. Okay, so your palms are facing forward, and then curl up at the elbow. So you're working the bicep and bring the barbell up towards your chest while keeping your elbow and upper arm by your side. Okay, it's tough to do. But like I said, if you want to attempt to stand at a wall with your back to it and see if you can keep that part of your arm, your tricep against the wall while still being able to curl, okay? If you're not able to do the barbell, you can always grab dumbbells um, and do uh, 10 reps on each side with a relatively manageable, dumb manageable dumbbell weight. For the ring push-ups, okay? Some of the ones I know at St. Paul are lower and you can get down really low and have your feet on the floor. Most of them, including the ones at Minneapolis, you're gonna have to have your feet probably on a box so that your body is uh, parallel, okay? Um, but what we're looking for the rings is just some added instability of the rings because the rings are hanging and therefore as you are in a plank and performing the push-up, uh, it can get a little shaky, okay? Um, now off the rings, we can always do just a regular push-up and we can band up off of the rings and, and work on and that as well. So uh, one set of curls and then one set of push-ups for three sets. And then the workout, um, we got three rounds each for time. Uh, 60 unbroken double unders, 18 up and down planks, and then 15 and 12 bike calories. And we're gonna rest three minutes between each round. We're gonna record you guys the slowest for today to make sure that each one of them is performed at the highest uh, effort. Now for the double unders, uh, it is unbroken and it is 60. Um, so like we talked about with the 100 in the middle of the week on Thursday, um, we could do, uh, I'd say probably two attempts just because the rounds are for time before moving on. And at that point, I wouldn't worry about uh, getting the volume um, unless you're really far away from 60. Let's say your first two attempts, you get five and you trip and you get five and you trip. Maybe let's try and get 50 uh, or, or some more before we move on. We can also do 60 uh, unbroken single unders um, as an option as well. For the up and down planks, okay? You're gonna start in a plank on your hands and your toes. You're gonna lower yourself down one elbow at a time. So think I'm on my left and right hand. I go down to my left elbow, then to my right elbow, and then I push back up to my left hand and then my right hand. So I'm kind of doing this like rolling, rocking motion. Hand, elbow, elbow, and then back, hand, hand, okay? So each time you go down to the elbow and back up to the hand, that counts as one, okay? Then we got 15 and 12 bike calories. So that very uncomfortable or just at, for most of us, our threshold in terms of calories and kind of, uh, the way to explain it is there's probably like a sprint distance, there's a cruise distance, and then there's a maintenance distance. So this is kind of right in between like cruise and sprint, okay? Depending on how you're feeling when you get there. Um, but uh, try and go pretty hard here um, and, and see if you can get the bike to a point where you feel like, I know you're gonna think I'm crazy saying this, but you're almost like floating, all right? Where the bike's kind of hit its stride and you're just maintaining it, okay? Um, that'll be it, guys. That'll end the week. Have fun.